well, happy Wednesday. Thanks for joining me for a craft night with friends. My name is Alyssa Thomas from Penguin and Fish, where we make cute embroidery kits for beginners. And I'm here every weeknight, Monday through Friday at 8.30 p.m. Central Time. And it's a time that we can relax and craft together. So, all right, we're well into the Raven embroidery. Uh, so we are gonna finish that whole right side of the vine today, I think, and uh, see if we can get started on the little pumpkin as well. So thanks again for joining, let's get stitching. All right, here we are. Okay, so where we left off yesterday is we pretty much finished our birdie, um, our raven. Um, we got to do a whole pile of the cross hatching yesterday, so that was really fun to try and uh, to start doing that. And uh, tonight we are going to get going on. Uh, well, we got to finish finish the tail right here, and then I think I'm going to like shimmy sham up to here, like just go behind the stitches up to here versus starting fresh, uh, and then just continuing this side. So the only things I won't get on this side quite yet are the lines in the leaf and this leaf, because that will be done with one, a single strand, like what we did the cross hatching with. But we are all ready to go. We got the thread ready yesterday, and we can just get started right away. So I'm going to finish up this tail with the back stitch then we'll like I said hop up hop up there so thanks again for joining everyone nice to see y'all popping in uh, just a reminder our 40% off kits embroidery kit sale is going on now uh, through the 29th uh, so check that out great time to grab some kits uh, and uh, if you're watching live and you order uh, $20 or more from the shop from penguinandfish.com during the live or about like 15 minutes after I will throw in a free mystery gift to your order as well so thanks again for all your kit orders the past couple days we are uh, uh, clearing out all our kits. Uh, that's why we're having a big sale, because we are going to be putting some new fabric in them uh, starting October. So I'm excited about that. <clears throat> all right, I'm going to do one last like forward stitch here. There we are, birds done. All right, so I'm gonna go into the backs of these stitches. I might just cut right up through. There's a bunch of stitches here. I don't think I'll be able to see if I just jump up to there. And then I'm gonna go into the backs of these stitches and then start our, our loop here again. I'll probably do this loop, then get this leaf, French knots, all that stuff. Okay, so like I said, I think I'm gonna just leap right across because there's enough stitches on the front so I won't we won't see that like jump going across the wing. And then I just really have to go up to here <clears throat> and then maybe like back down. So that, that wasn't bad. We didn't hardly lose any floss from doing that. Um, there we go. See everyone pop it into the chats. All right. And there we go. So still doing a back stitch here but we do have like some french knots around that we'll pop in and do uh lazy daisy stitches these big guys here and that'll be good to go Ooh, and you guys i did bring an example today of the difference in the fabric uh, so let me just grab that quick just to share with you guys. So this is an example of the old fabric. Uh, same same here. Like this is the old fabric. So you can still see, see um, the design just fine on there. Uh, this is how our kits currently are uh, in, in the sale. I think you guys can see all the way up there. There we go. And uh, our, oops, fell on the floor. Hold on, let's grab it with my foot. <laughs> The new kits are going to be a white fabric. So here we go. It just fell on the floor, so it just got tons of fuzz all over it. But uh, the new kits 
will be on this white and you can see the design um, a lot better I think it's still very thin lines so your stitches will will cover all the lines still um, but this shouldn't fade or anything it's a bit more permanent than uh, the uh, other design I mean here you can tell I mean they both they're both pretty clear but the 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 white is just going to be like that much uh, easier to use, I think. So that's what we're going to be switching all the kits over to uh, in October. Uh, we'll still have the old fabric available um, pre-cut, like blank fabric uh, by the square like this and by the yard. And we'll also now have the white fabric uh, pre-cut like this and by the yard as well. So I know a lot of you guys are still using... Uh, this fabric, which I, I still love, I use it all the time still, um, the, uh, this unbleached fabric, and like if you're in the middle of a project or something like that, um, we'll still have it available, so, you know, you won't all of a sudden, um, you know, be in the middle of your thing and then, like, not have the same fabric anymore, we will have the same fabric available if you wanted to, like, use the PDF or something to trace it, but yeah, yeah, the colors, I think, will pop I know they pop actually uh, really well on on the um, on the white. We've done a few embroideries behind the scenes here on on that white, and uh, uh, they look really nice. I'm excited for for how it's going with it. But yeah, so starting um, with our next embroidery of the month, that is on the white fabric. And then we'll be transitioning, transitioning um, our other designs onto that fabric as well. Mm, I think I'm going to jump up here and do this leaf now. Yeah, let's just do that. I think I'll go up through the middle first and then come around. But yeah, I'm excited to have yardage of the fabric, too. That's been a request um, versus just the pre-cuts. Uh, but the pre-cuts are nice, too. Just then everything's ready to go right away. Uh, but yeah, so we'll have pre-cuts. And by pre-cuts, I just mean our 10 and a half inch square. So we'll have the 10 and a half inch squares plus uh, by the yard of both styles of fabric um, starting at the beginning of the month as well. But I'm super excited. The the um, colors do look really nice on the white. <clears throat> and we'll have more info on some of that stuff in our next few emails, too. All right, I think I'm going to go around this side first and I think I'm gonna actually run out of thread before I get too far um, like before I get all the way around this leaf so I'm trying to think of like where do I want to end up and I think I want to end up over on this side because it'll be an easier leap to jump in into into the vine here again Ooh, Arlene said would love this raven on the white. It will be on the white uh, starting October. So after it's um, no longer in the embroidery of the month that we have it just in our regular collection, uh, the new ones will be on, on the white. So, yep, so everything except for the embroidery of the month, all the other kits, uh, including the new caramel apple kit, which is this guy. This is still on the old fabric as well. Uh, but this kit, as well as our other kits, are 40% off now because um, we'll be changing them over to the, to the white. So, uh, good chance to load up on, on a few, especially if you like this, the unbleached fabric. Ah. Uh, because that will be that um, for kits with this fabric. Because 
except for our clearance kits, um, like our old packaging kits, those will still be, those will be still the same, but all of our, our new kits uh, in our pretty white packaging, that those will all be new with the white fabric. All right, I only have like a couple stitches left in here. Uh, I think I can maybe get two more out of this. All right, I'm gonna weave in the end here. Then we can start up here and end up down right back at the vine. So that'll be a good little path. Looks kind of funny just like that. All right, I'm just gonna weave up the middle, I think. One, two, three. end. All right, I think we have a piece here ready to go. Yep, three strands. Excellent. I think I'll just stay on the back here and weave it in right away. I wanted to start at the top of that leaf, so I'm going to just weave in here. Uh-oh. Got a little knot in there. I saw that happening as it was happening. <laughs> but my hand just kept pulling. There we are. Hey, Cassie. All right, go down this side. It'll be fun to get the, the lines in the leaves. I think today let's just get as far as we can with with like three strand stuff. Eh, I don't know. Maybe when we get this vine done, we'll all hop back and get these. Um, oops, get these lines and the leaves. We'll see. Haven't decided yet. That's kind of the nice thing about. Um, Again, stitching all one color is that you can kind of just jump around. All right, I think I'll do like a forward stitch that'll get me to right here. And I think... Uh, should I do, yeah, I think I'm going to jump down to the vine. I was considering, uh, should I do these French knots first? But I think we'll, we'll get up a little bit higher before I do the French knots. Feels like we got a lot done with this now that we have the raven in the middle done. Although it is already Wednesday and we still do have like the whole pumpkin and everything to go yet. I think maybe we will be right up to the wire on on um, Friday, getting this done. We'll see. All right, getting these two French knots. Oh, Catherine says, I will miss the vintage look of the old muslin, but I really have struggled to see the embroidery lines old age. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, um, that is the main reason why we're switching, just because, um, it has been, uh, tough to see the lines sometimes, for sure, and we do not want anyone to struggle with that, so, uh, we figured out a way to get them a little nicer and darker, um, crisper, uh, the new fabric, and um, happy with that. So I hope you guys like it. Um, you'll have to let us know once we, once we get it out in October. All right, let's get these three giant Lazy Daisy stitches. I want them kind of extra loose so they have that teardrop shape. The 
this is actually gonna suck up all my floss. <laughs> these three big, uh, three big um, ones. I don't even think I'll get up to those ones up there. So we're gonna definitely need a whole new, another piece of floss to finish this. Finish this side. go tack that down cute I still think they're like our little squash blossoms little black squash blossoms I think that yeah in the in the sticker uh, I made them yellow like yellow squash blossoms this is almost eh, about half as big as the design that sticker is the freebie that comes with um, this this design, if you get it during the month. Dang, September is almost over, you guys. Ugh, and you guys, I'm gonna be like an aunt in like seven days or less. What is today? Let's see. Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> like six days or less, you guys. So, uh craziness. Uh, I think I missed that. I'm pulling that out. I hate when I miss getting it in the exact same hole. I have like a little one tiny thread of fabric was in the way so I'm gonna just redo that stitch. I must be tired because I'm getting picky. So we'll still have um I kind of agree with you, Arlene. Arlene says, Catherine, I was thinking that using vintage colors uh, for Christmas, I would prefer the unbleached for the fall motifs as well. I think, yeah, the fall motifs I do think look really pretty on this muslin, or if you do want that vintage feel. That's why I want it available yet, and we'll have it available, like, indefinitely, so you don't have to worry about it, like, running out. We got tons of bolts of it. Um, but yeah, uh, so you'll still be able to trace onto it or um use like stick and stitch on it so you can still get the the same effect with the same fabric uh we just won't have it all like pre-printed anymore yep john and i are gonna be uh, an aunt and uncle for the first time to uh, a little uh, baby boy in the next week here. It's crazy. So, whenever that day is, I do not know if I'll be live or not because I think it's going to be, um, if she doesn't have it, um, you know, spontaneously, I suppose, is how they would say that. Um, the delivery schedule date is, um, like, right during our live here, so I may uh, not be live. We'll see. How soon after will you see the baby? Well, that's what we're trying to figure out soon, too, because um, they're, they're, like, I don't know, six hours away or something, so... We want to drive down there and and see. So probably early October. So actually, that's a good point that you bring up now. We're still figuring this out yet, but we may or may not. Like I may or may not be live uh, first week or two in October. Not not sure. We might be doing a whole pile of seeing family around then. Driving, driving about. Okay, this was maybe not smart to do this French knot because I have barely any floss left. So we're gonna weave that in, end in, and uh, let's start a new, new piece of floss. So theoretically, pretty quickly, um, we'll see the baby. Arlene's asking how soon after um, will we see the baby?
So, all right, that, that um, brings up what would be, if you were going to go visit a fresh baby <laughs> and probably tired uh, new parents and stuff, what would be like the most helpful thing to do or bring or, or whatever? Let me know. Here's the last of this. Oh, awesome. Robin, um, let me know how it goes. All right, let's get our three strands. I don't think we'll use up all this thread. I kind of got a big piece here. Linda's asking, have you ever thought of printing your ABCs on paper as a kid's coloring book? Fun stocking gift. Ooh, that would be a fun idea. I haven't, but that would be really kind of neat. Like, you could do that with a few designs. Oh, Linda says diapers. Uh, and LaDonna says prepped food meals. Okay, both of those are great ideas. Yeah, okay. Gonna do both of those. All right. I forgot where I was for a sec. Okay, way up here. They definitely don't need any more kids' clothes. <laughs> they got so many clothes at their their um, baby shower that they could probably never repeat clothes. <laughs> like wear it, wear two sets of clothes a day and and never repeat. It's probably a little bit of exaggeration, but still. Oh, Shirley says gift cards. Oh, that's kind of a nice idea too, just to have around. Oh, gift cards uh, to favorite restaurant. Restaurants, that's a good idea. Yeah, because I think um, her mom is going to be there for a while. Um, so yeah, if they just wanted to eat somewhere for a little, maybe. Or I don't know, or in the future. Or even like delivery, like a... like a Grubhub gift certificate or something. I don't know if that's a thing. <coughs> they are in, a, in like a major city, so they should have all those resources. Big chain stitches. Eat up the thread. All right, I'm going to get these French knots on the way back down, I think. Gosh, I still might not have enough thread here. Let's make it. Oh, it still won't work. Okay. Um, I know you've been emailing Jenna, Robin. Let her know again. Um, if there's any way to take a screen grab, like a, you know, an image of, of the screen with that error on, if you could send that to her too, because we haven't had that error yet, so that'll help us, um, that will help us like research it so we can fix it and stuff. But we can, um, we can definitely put together like just a, like a normal invoice sort of thing way of doing it uh, to get to get your order finished. But yeah, that's that's weird. Sorry that you're having that trouble.
But yeah, we definitely want to get that resolved. Alright, one last roundabout here. And uh, one little French knot. And I think I am going to go in with the the leaves. I don't like those not being done before moving on, so we'll we'll get the single strand out again. I think I have one more single strand sitting here. Oh, I think it's actually a little piece. I might have to get a whole new whole new thing for single strands. I'm just excited to see like how much uh, this baby looks like its parents. That's gonna be trippy for sure. <laughs> I feel like my brother Justin looks exactly like how he does in his baby photos. I'm not sure other, if other people would say that, but in my head he's like still like looks exactly like those. So it's, all, it's just gonna be funny. Man, I really don't have much floss left. Dang, I thought I was going to have a, like a good portion of that thread left, but I don't know. I think, I think we'll be done with this floss pretty much. All right, we just need that one little less, or last uh, French knot. <clears throat> and then I'll get the single strands out again. Zzzz. All right, there we go. Okay. Yeah, hardly anything left. Um, okay. All right, now I want to get uh, the little lines in these leaves, and um, then we'll move on to this other half here. I think I have a little piece left. Oh, this isn't going to get us too far. Eh, might, as well, might as well use it up, I guess. Let's start down here. Let's weave it in. So pre-made meals, are we thinking like comfort food type scenario or like pre-portioned like freezer meals? Or like fruit and stuff that, uh, you know, you won't, you know, that might na need to be replenished without going to the store. It's my first time, I don't know what to, to bring to these things. All right, we'll get this one side. I love just these little single strands are so cute. Ooh, thanks, Cassie. Cassie just ordered the beagle and a needle minder. Ah, I appreciate it. I'll definitely throw in a free mystery gift to All right, 
first little bit. That's looking cute. And I'm going to be out of thread real soon before we get this guy done. That'll be kind of annoying. So I'll have to get a whole new piece to finish this one and then weave it in right away before getting all the way up here. Oh, that's nice. LaDonna says, any of those sound good? I appreciated when our group even added little candles to make it special when we would uh, be quiet and tired at home. Oh, that's that's cool. I like that idea too. gonna be able to get all these in uh, I think I'm I don't think I'm gonna be able to uh, I'm gonna go for it I'm gonna have like hardly any thing to weave in be able to weave in but this will be awesome I, I won't have to get a whole new piece dang I'm surprised that piece went this whole entire way yay oh I might even have enough to weave in <laughs> thread chicken wind again there we go all right let's Weave that in. Zoop. Oh, Cassie says, I would think um, meals that are easy to make warm up. Yeah, I like that idea. I wonder, um, we do have a cooler that you can plug in. I wonder if that would be enough to like keep like frozen meals frozen <laughs> for like a you know, a seven hour drive or six, six to eight hour drive. I don't remember something like that. All right. Oh, let's, uh, I gotta get another thread out. So I already have, um, this split from, you know, doing the, the three strands. So let's just use this as our one strand, um, thread. like totally missed or something that was weird um, okay uh, weave an end and get these cute little dudes here so next up uh, well actually you know what I'll have a lot of thread on here yet maybe I just start some of these next areas just with the single strand um, since we can like, like, you know, if I do some of these crosshatch things and the crosshatch on the legs and stuff, I can, cause now I do have an area to weave in. Oop, I think I only did, I think I only went twice. There. So I might just, uh, do some of that first. All right, I'm going to hold this way just so I can be closer to my stitches here. Go a little faster then. Nice and speedy, these just big stitches. Oops, my finger got caught on the other side. All right, he'll feel good to have this whole whole side of the design done. Gosh, 
gosh, it's already Thursday tomorrow. Oh man, you guys, I we have like a window open and I swear I was by it like before coming on here and it it breathed in like winter. Like it had the taste of of winter. Like it's still like nice out. I mean, but you know, it tasted like winter that air. So it's coming. Man. You know, it was like 90 yesterday, and uh, um, before coming on here, it was in the 50s. So we have a big, big shift today. I think it's supposed to, like, do cold rain on Friday. Last stitch. Pretty. I do like that. It adds lots of texture. All right, let's weave that in. And I do have a whole pile of this single strand. So yeah, like I said, let's let's weave in the bottom here and we'll get some of those hash marks um, or cross hatches before doing the back stitch, which is actually gonna be way easier, I think. Uh, but now we have all this, I'm gonna just weave in right away. We have all um, these backs of stitches to weave in and That'll be good. Ooh, Linda says tomorrow is the first day of autumn. Oh, I guess I didn't even realize that. All right, there we are. Okay, our little birdie has lots of little lines on his legs here. Ooh, this is gonna be a lot easier to get now, I think, versus after we do all the back stitches here. A lot of this uh, cross hatching and all that is to give the impression that that we're like filling it in with black, like that is a, like an actual black bird versus just like outlined in black. Oops, those are a little crooked, but they're kind of cute. This one I can go straight. And I'll come up if I have more uh, thread. It looks like I'll have enough thread yet, but I'll come up on the cross hatches of uh, the pumpkin stem. And then I think we'll be out of thread. Then I'll get switch back to the three strands. Because we don't have any like backs of stitches to weave in down here yet either. So, oh, Southern Mama, it is uh, so fun to do, to do embroidery and super duper relaxing. We do have a free pattern on our site with uh, videos for how to do fourteen stitches uh, within that pattern, like a little sampler. Uh, you're welcome to go download that if you want to give it a try. And I'm here every evening uh, for an hour, Monday through Friday at 8.30 uh, Central Time. And I'm more than happy to answer questions or do a demo if you're struggling with something. This is cute without it out the outlines. It'd be fun to just do an outlineless <laughs> um, cross hatch sort of design. I don't know what that would look like, but I don't know. It's cute right now. Got a couple little more lines on his toes. One more, and then then I'll jump up to the to the. Uh, Pumpkin um, stump handle, whatever you'd call this thing, the uh, stem. I wonder if I have, I'll have enough thread for this. 
If not, I'll have to get in the next batch of um, single strand stuff. So we'll like truly finish the bird today because we'll get his little foot in. Little talons. Ooh, Southern Mama, we are having um, a 40% off sale on our kits right now, and they come with uh, all the supplies and everything that you need. The only thing they don't come with is uh, a scissors, but you can use any scissors that you, you want. And those supplies can be reused, like the hoop and needle and all that. Hey, Amy. All right, yeah, I think we're going to get through all these lines with just this strand, so happy about that. And I think I'll probably, like, try and weave it in his belly, maybe? I don't know. Boop. Yeah, I like all these. Like, I think this looks really cool without without the outlines. All right, I totally want to do some design with, like, zero outlines and just a bunch of, like, filler lines like this. It's cool. I mean, I, you, you wouldn't be able to tell what this is at all, but, like, I don't know. Figure out a way to make it work. All right. Um, I think that's all I'll do with this thread. I am going to just jump over to the, here and... Weave it in. It's funny just like how little itty bitty stitches how the stitches are in the back. Like here the belly looks like hardly anything and compared to on the front where it's totally filled in. It's kind of fun. Alright, I think that was three times. But I don't count the, and then I uh, forget. Okay. Let's get <clears throat> some three strands again to do we'll do the foot first I mean I guess I'll just do the foot the handle <laughs> the handle the um stem and then you know I don't know get some of the top of the pumpkin in here before moving to the bottom Ooh, Anson, I just posted a pic of a keychain I made from the bracelet book, um, braceletbook.com. It turned out cute, but I'm struggling with making it neater. So are you trying, it's called like alpha knots or whatever, right? Are you trying the um, alpha knot thing? That's still, I looked at the tutorials for that and stuff, and it's still a little brain puzzle in my head. So I'm going to have to try that, try that uh, sometime too. Oh, Cassie says, I like, um, I like how the fly stitches look on the back. I'll have to peek. I'm not even sure what those look like on the back. Oh, I hear you, Southern Mama. Well, I'll, I'll be here um, whenever you're ready. All right, Zoop. Um, let's flip that around. I wanted to see the fly stitches. Oh, they do look like a bunch of little V's, like a bunch of little, like, rough um, cross-hatching opus on the back here. It's kind of fun. I do like it. All right, this is coming along. All right, let's get this talon. get that. Oops, geez, I almost pulled this out. Okay. Actually, I think I might get 
think I might do some of these tiny, oh, yeah, I do already have a knot. I thought that felt weird. So I like having my hand back there just checking on things. Boop. Um, but I think I'm going to do like these little bits of pumpkin top that are in the background here. And then I think I might actually get that, that stem. Kind of working like the things that are furthest back to, to the front. Um, I think that might be good in this case. And get this part of the pumpkin and then the stem and then come back and do the, the talon. That's our new order of things. I think I'll have enough thread for most of that at least. So I'll probably go um, till uh, this thread is done tonight. And yeah. Tomorrow we'll get this pumpkin done, and well, we might get pretty far tomorrow, actually. Which means we may have some extra time on Friday, so we'll have to see what else we can play around with. Ooh, and I'll definitely check it out uh, um, in the Facebook group when we're done here. I want to see how it went. And I, I looked a little bit for, like, I swear I have some old friendship bracelets, like a half-started ones. Like, I have a vision of it. Like, I feel like it's, like, deep, like, reds, like some maroons and burgundies and, like, bright reds. I swear I have a piece started from, like when I was a teenager of like diamonds and, and V's and stuff, which is not the alpha way of making the, the um, friendship bracelets. But I, th I wanted to try and find that to get that out. Uh, and then we could try the alpha way of doing it, but um, I couldn't find it. Like where I had it pictured in my head, it wasn't, wasn't there. So I'm gonna have to dig a little bit more. Hey, maybe if we have time on uh, on Friday, maybe we can putz around with that. I'll definitely have to download instructions and then we'll have to like walk through them together because it is a little confusing. I think it's one of those things that once you get it, you get it. Oh, hold on, let me read that. Oh, Marie, um, let me know. Okay, so if you had trouble, first of all, thanks for ordering. <laughs> but if you had trouble, let me know, because someone else is having trouble too in a weird, in a way that we haven't had trouble with um, before. So, and you never know when, like, you know, Shopify or something's updating something. So, like, if it was difficult for some reason, let us, let us know, like email me at, um, info at penguin and fish. I'd, I'd love to hear if it was difficult, um, in some way. Oh, Marie says, and I saw your keychain. It's darling. Ugh, I can't wait to check it out. Uh, Cassie's asking, what do I do with all the embroidery of the months? Um, well, I, uh, I save a copy. <laughs> uh, I always have two because we do our, our demo one that we have, um, that I take the photos for the, like the cover of the kit and stuff. And then I have the one that we, the one that we make here. I always keep one just in case I need to like photograph it or something. Uh, again, for some reason, um, but we've been just kind of making all sorts of different things with the um, finished embroideries here. I kind of keep them until like we have time to make them into something. All right, I'm going to start this these claws. Um, but I think I my favorite thing is still doing like zipper pouches. Like here's <laughs> I just grab this one. Here's the one um, 
Oh, this is actually very similar to the, the new fabric, um, just a little lighter. Um, but yeah, so I like making them into to zipper pouches, with like cute little zippers. Um, we've made them, I have like so many, so many zipper pouches with, with uh, designs on, because I just use zipper pouches for like crafting bags like so much, so um, I use them a lot. Uh, we make tote bags out of them. Oh, I know some people here have um, made them into quilts. Uh, you can do like pillows. We made we made one into a pillow once, and that was kind of fun. A little like throw pillow. I have. Um, turned them into patches before. I mean, it's kind of not like a filled in patch, but you know, basically taking it, turning it into like an applique um, that I can applique onto like clothing and stuff. That's kind of fun. I've also just um, left them in the hoop and put a put the bow on to hang it up, and I have a couple just hanging on the wall as uh, wall art. Oh, Amy says, and your zippers are super cute. I do really like our zippers. They're all. Do I have a? Oh yeah, I do. I have a few. Oh yeah, I have three three of different ones of our zippers here. But I I like these cute little zippers. I love the little. Uh, pull and then they come in like all sorts of different colors. Here's just um, three <laughs> that I that I have here in my immediate reach. But yeah, those just like top off the little zipper pouches. I don't have them in different sizes. Let me know if you guys would ever want like that same style of zipper in different lengths. Um, I think I have. I think they're like nine inches. The ones that I get, uh, but I could get like longer ones. That might be nice. Like longer ones might be nice for like if you wanted to make like a tote bag that zipped on the top. That'd be kind of nice. For that, you probably want a bigger zipper. All right, I'm gonna run out of thread before we finish this guy's foot. So maybe I'll get, we have a few minutes left, maybe I'll get another piece of thread going and still get the foot finished. Cassie, we uh, have uh, those zippers in the store. Oh God, I, I did not. <laughs> I'm gonna pull that out. I'm getting picky now. I did not. Jeez, it's almost as if I looked up <laughs> while I stitched that one. I did not get that in the same hole. Uh, but yeah, we have zippers. Um, yep, yeah, I guess that's kind of. We have a couple other like little supply stuff, but I guess those zippers are. Like one of the only notions, I guess, that's not a, um, like a tool. But yeah, we have, um, like some tea towels and other stuff like that too, and aprons to stitch on. And, uh, but yep, we, uh, we carry, um, those zippers and there's like, I don't know, like 13 different colors or something. They're really, they're really fun. I do like using them. So every once in a while we'll do a demo on here of, um, making a zipper pouch. I, there's a, um, a couple blog posts. So if you, in our search bar, if you type in zipper pouch, uh, there'll be two different blog posts, um, with free patterns on how to actually make a zipper pouch. Uh, the two patterns are basically the same, but one has boxed corners, but yeah, you um, can check that out if you want to make one of those little zipper pouches, but they're just so fun to do with these embroideries, I think. And I, I literally put, um, I just use them for craft stuff all the time. So right now I've been 
dividing my craft stuff up by use. So like, you know, like this, for example, is my d bag of darning things. Oh, and I think I put the latch hook in here, but I have like the my little darning tool in here. Um, and I remember that it's darning because this is, is autumn, like an autumn scene. And uh, in autumn, you'll be getting your darning out. <laughs> so that's my reminder for that. And, you know, so each of my tote bags has a different thing. And so, like, I have another, or not tote bag, a zipper pouch. I have another zipper pouch that's, like, the hand quilting stuff. And then another zipper pouch that's the tatting things. So I... I I know I can just grab that and have all the supplies basically for that craft. So that's that's my main zipper pouch use. And then like traveling, it's they're just nice to grab and throw whatever in. All right, I think I can do one more stitch here. So we are not quite getting the top of his foot done. Ooh, and I think I, oh God, I did lose a stitch. Dang it, boo. Let's try that again. Actually, I might just weave this in. It's pretty short. Let's just get a new piece of floss and I gotta trim this too to be able to thread it again. <laughs> John says this bird would be a fun tattoo. It would be fun. We, we have a friend who does tattoos and uh, she does amazing like birds. Like really, she's just like incre incredibly talented, and but they're all like really dense, um, which this actually kind of reminds me of. So this this reminds me of uh, this would be like if she she did a tattoo like this, John. Should go get one, get one. That'd be fun. All right, um, I do have my other thread ready, and you know what? I want to finish this bird. We got two minutes here yet. Let's um, finish the top of his foot and then we'll let it be for tomorrow. So tomorrow we'll uh, jump into pumpkin land. We'll, we'll do the pumpkin first and then move up to that vine. Let's see how far we get. But it'd be nice to have the pumpkin done by tomorrow. All right, let's get the top of your foot here, buddy. One more stitch, and I think we got it. There we go. All right, and I think I'm just going to come up. Let's just come up right here. I think this will be the start. I think we got one little stitch here for uh, the top of the pumpkin and then we'll just work on doing all this pumpkin shenanigans tomorrow so i'm going to leave this thread right here all ready to go for tomorrow uh but yay we finished this whole chunk here definitely feels like we have a lot by just having that bird done just that alone <laughs> makes me happy but just actually this this alone as its own motif would be really kind of pretty too uh but fun all right you guys Okay, so that is coming right along. It is looking really pretty all in black uh, still. Um, you know, could do it in color. Uh, that'd be really fun too, like our sticker. Uh, but it's fun doing one of these uh, in all one color sometimes. It just feels like classic, classic embroidery, uh, just doing it all one color. It'd be fun to do a whole quilt, just, just one color. Jenna's actually working on one of those. She's doing a quilt all in blue, all blue work embroidery of like a bunch of different snowmen. So she's almost, <laughs> she's getting there with that one too. Uh, but awesome. So thank you guys again. Uh, thanks for the baby suggestions. <laughs> I'll let you know how that goes. And uh, I will see you tomorrow at 8.30 p.m. Central Time. Uh, I'll see you guys then. Good night.